Plums, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. My name is Plumby, and today I'm going to bring you guys part one of the Sims 4 Sherwood Shelter. I am so excited to be starting this brand new Let's Play. I'm just so pumped for this. This is gonna be such a fun, wholesome, of course, it's all gonna be storylines and drama, so don't worry, but it's gonna be a little bit more of a laid back Let's Play. So I'm just so excited to be bringing this to you guys. So if you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Lorena. I do mainly Sims 4 content like Let's Plays and Create Sims. So if any of that interests you, please go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you join the Plum family. And without further ado, let's just hop right on into it. So this is Miss Bria Sherwood. I do actually have a creator sim of Bria. So if you'd like to check that out and see me make her, I will leave a link to the creator sim in the corner of the screen on a little card. So you can go ahead and click that and watch that if you have not already. I do go a little bit more in depth there as well on who Bria is. But yeah, this is Miss Bria Sherwood, the main star of the Let's Play. So this is part one. So this is gonna be a very introduction-y kind of part. The next part we will be hopping into gameplay, but today's part is gonna be very chatty and talky. It is introductions, but of course, introductions are vital when it comes to a let's play so let's just get a little bit into what this lp is gonna be about i have a really adorable well, i think it's adorable <laughs> i'm quite proud of it a little explanation of basically what this uh, lp is gonna be about and a little bit about bria kind of just a little about what the let's play is gonna be about i'm kind of everywhere today anyways <laughs> so we quickly read it out to you guys bria showered the hot-headed ambitious girl who a lot of people have called her crazy especially her exes <laughs> has always had a soft spot for animals, especially ones without a home. She decided that she wanted to open up an animal shelter, but wait, Bria does not have the funds to do so, and God forbid she goes back to her job as a barista at the local Sims Bucks. Wait, not all is lost. Bria has always been amazing at woodwork and sculpting things. It's always been a hobby of hers, and she has enough funds to open up a tiny shop selling her sculptures that she makes. Perfect. Bria will expand her wo woodworking shop, but also add an animal animal shelter to it. Watch as Bria builds up the animal shelter and her shop falls in love with someone who will not fall in line with her many exes and hopefully start a family that does not just have tails and whiskers. So that is the little explanation of what this let's play is going to be about. So if that if that kind of tickles your interest, <laughs> if you're kind of interested in seeing some wholesome animal shelter stuff, you know, I feel like we need some wholesomeness right now. This is the let's play for you. But as I said, there's still going to be drama, there's still going to be conflicts, but it's, it's not going to be as crazy as my other let's plays <laughs> but yeah i'm so excited for this so now we know a little bit about what the let's play is going to be about let's go ahead and talk a little bit about bria so if you've already seen the creator sim you're probably more familiar with her but if you haven't seen the creator sim here's just a little bit of a look at her traits so miss bria is ambitious family oriented romantic hot-headed goofball and she really loves animals obviously <laughs> so yeah she's a very ambitious sim she's always had these huge dreams and a lot of people have said you know you're crazy for wanting to have that kind of dream People have kind of told her she's a bit in over her head at times, but she's very ambitious and, you know, she's always wanted to make the best of the life she's been given. Oh my god, Etta. This is her mother, Etta. We will get a little bit into her family in a second. And it just said, hey, I heard you became friends with Owen. Yeah, Owen is her sister's husband, so I think she's been friends with him for longer than that. Anywho's. <laughs> She's all anyway, back back to this. She's also very family oriented because she grew up in such a big loving family Bria has always also dreamed about having I guess a family of her own and kind of doing that So, you know, it's a very like tiny kind of dream of her and something that she wants to do You know, she's putting other stuff first But it's another thing that Bria really wants to do and she is also a big romantic Which is also quite a shame because as I said, she's always as as, as it said She's always had many relationships go wrong. You know, she has many exes and relationships Relationships that ended badly really really badly which is kind of a shame to be honest because she's a big romantic you know she's always dreamed of finding the one and she loves romantic movies and everything she's also hot-headed she does actually believe it or not have some anger issues which you know isn't that good some could pinpoint that's probably why her relationships ended badly because she does have some anger issues which you know maybe she needs to go ahead and get some therapy about you know <laughs> i think we'll definitely be exploring that a little bit more as well but she's also a goofball she has the most biggest kind of sense of humor ever like you know she's always feel like she's feeling playful now <laughs> but she's always you know telling goofy jokes she's a big old goofball and yeah that's bria she's a very i guess lovely 
interesting character. I personally love her because she's very, you know, she's got flaws. And that's why I really like her. It's because not everyone is, you know, perfect. I'm going to go ahead and get to make a playful sculpture. But not everyone's perfect. And Bria, she's definitely a very interesting character, or at least in my opinion. And I can't wait to kind of play with her. I'm just going to do a little bit of woodworking now, you know. <laughs> and that is kind of a little bit about Bria. So, of course, we'll be exploring a little bit more as we play with her. You know, we'll be learning a bit more about her as we play. She is actually currently unemployed since, as it stated, she doesn't want to go back to her job at the local Simsburgs. She's been working there since she was around the age of 15, you know, and she just she doesn't want to go back to making coffees all day. You know, it ain't her thing. She wants to, you know, open, make her own wood workshop, follow her dreams. So she's actually currently unemployed and she's really hoping to, you know, with the funds she has, work on a little woodworking shop, which she'll actually be kind of putting over here because she has this huge plot of land right here that, you know, she's planning on building the shelter on and her woodworking shop on. So she's got plans, you know, she's ready. <laughs> and yeah, these are actually a set of her skills over here. She is pretty charismatic. Well, she has three charismatics and she's quite good at comedy too. <laughs> she actually wanted to become a comedian growing up, you know. <laughs> she never did though. She's got level one cooking, but she's actually got a level five handiness. As it stated, it's always been a hobby of hers. She's a little bit mischievous as well. And we are going to actually be completing the friend of the animals aspiration in this let's play too. I kind of want to complete that in this let's play since I feel like that's like something I also want to do is kind of, you know, focus, focus on that. It's going to be about our shelter too. So I feel like it really does fit into and oh no, Gracie needs to go to the toilet. Okay, I'm going to go actually go ahead and get her to just go on a little walk. And yeah, that is just a little bit about, I guess, her personality and everything. I now actually want to quickly talk about her, I guess, relationships with people and of course her family. So as I said, she has always grown up in a big, loving family. You know, that's always been, you know, her kind of her, kind of her thing. You know, she's always grown up with a big, big, loving, kind of crazy family. <laughs> and these are, she has three, oh, sorry, two siblings. She is the youngest sibling. She has her older brother called Clarence Sherwood. For some reason, it doesn't say that you know she's related to him but i promise she is i did it in creative and everything <laughs> but then um, maybe it's just a little bit of a glitch but this is her older brother clarence and then she's got her older sister kylie who is married to this guy called owen who is actually one of your guys's sims uh, he is off of the not not so berry hashtag so i do apologize for, for like using him for this instead of not so berry but his name is owen ellis if you actually want to upload your sims to be part of this let's play they could be a potential lover for bria or they could be an ex of bria's or just a background sim or a friend of Bria's just go ahead and upload them to the hashtag plumby sherwood sims so plumby sherwood sims on the gallery anyway back to this <laughs> and of course this is actually a father math Matthias? Math I think Matthias. Here we go. We know we can't really see Kylie's traits for some reason or Clarence's traits, but here's Matthias. So he is proper, family oriented, outgoing, good, and foodie. We will learn a little bit more about their, I guess, what their jobs are when we meet them. And then we've got her mother, Etta, who is a creative, neat, proper, family oriented, and art lover. So as I said, I will be getting more into, I guess, her family. Oh, this is her niece, Sienna. <laughs> I will be getting more into her family soon. I just, I don't really want to like explain everything about them in just this panel so we will be probably learning a little bit more about them in part two when she goes ahead and hangs out with them but this part's more dedicated to Bria but we will be learning more about her family very soon and what their occupations are etc so do not worry now I actually want to give you guys a little tour about where Bria lives so she's already kind of spoiled it a little bit from this little walk she's taken up oh, no I didn't add a roof to the shelter I forgot to add a roof to the not the shelter Jesus the the shed <laughs> the shed oh well oh well we'll do that in a second but uh, let's actually have a quick tour of her house and everything so actually let's probably actually see where she lives so obviously she lives in the city of Adele so valley right here i actually added some lots from the gallery didn't do the pinnacles though couldn't be bothered <laughs> but this is basically starlight boulevard you got a park here we got orchard a go go renovation we've of course got sims bucks or starbucks coffee you know <laughs> this is where she used to work we have this really fancy seafood restaurant which she probably couldn't afford to eat at <laughs> we also got studio pbp as well so that's kind of starlight boulevard you know downtown all that stuff then if we head up here we have mirage park and this is where she currently lives and actually her family or her parents her father and her mother and of clarence the oldest actually live in this house right next door to bria which is kind of wholesome to be honest with their neighbors <laughs> and we have this empty lot right here where a love interest may move in wink wink i guess you guys will just have to wait and see <laughs> but uh yeah that's kind of where she lives in the world of delta valley i really wish there were more lots because
because it's such a beautiful world but oh well uh, let's actually have a quick tour around her house so let's have a quick tour so yeah let's start let's just start off inside so this house is a very kind of it needs TL tlc yeah it needs it needs a renovation it needs some tlc and honestly that is why i love it because i am also planning on kind of upgrading this house now i thought this house was perfect for bria because she's a little bit messy <laughs> A little bit of a slob. Uh, like I said, she kind of focuses more on, I guess, oh, like she's a little bit of a mess. She focuses a bit more on work and other things rather than keeping her house clean. You know, we've got these bills probably unpaid. <laughs> <laughs> we got some stains or some cracks in the walls, you know, it's oh, it's a pretty pretty messy house But I feel like it definitely does represent Bria and I think as you know the shelter goes on I'm also hoping to kind of renovate this and make this house a little bit more I guess clean neat and tidy <laughs> Hopefully, you know get some, get some nicer furniture than that. Although I love the look of this house like, I love how it looks like it needs TLC, you know, very cheap kind of house I do love that but I think it'll be fun of course to I guess give it a little bit of a renovation So this is the bathroom, you know quite a lovely bathroom in here once again there's cracks everywhere like there's stains and there's cracks everywhere like girl needs to get some new wallpaper in she doesn't have a lot of money so you know she can't really afford that but you know she just can't really be bothered either but this is the kitchen she's got some cereal just hanging out there maybe some dog food cans <laughs> We got some got a little dog bowl there. I actually really adore the kitchen. We can tell very cheap furniture. I think it's gonna be fun giving this like a renovation too. And, you know, and we're gonna be adding some extra rooms. And then oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're missing one of the rooms. This is her bedroom, you know. It's very I like I love how it looks to be honest, but you know, very messy. Oh stains all over the carpet. Uh, yeah, it's quite an quite a messy house, but I do like it because of that. <laughs> and this is up the backyard, and it's just quite a big backyard. Uh this is kind of you know, this is a shed without the roof. I will add that I promise you and this is i guess her little shed in here this is where she does all her woodworking as you guys have seen a second ago which is so cute it's a very tiny shed we're planning on putting her sculptures here which is gonna be fun but yeah this is her little shed she has some plant boxes here she's not really the kind of sim to garden so i'm not sure if she's gonna be gardening and then over here of course as we saw a second ago she has this huge plot of land which is gonna be kind of dedicated to the shelter and to the woodworking shop so that is i guess a little bit about bria's house now we're kind of nearing the end of the introductions and i do want to show you guys one more thing i want to show you the calendar so i adore the calendar aspect of seasons and i love the holiday aspect and i went a little bit ham so i kind of was thinking that i wanted to add a ton of holidays in for let's play to make it feel more fun so of course let's quickly just get into it so i only have the seasons seven days a week so i kind of like how they go by pretty fast i know some people like to do 14 days but i prefer like seven days i don't know it's just my play preference but this is of course all the holidays in spring so we actually have international cow plant day now i know there is a spelling mistake in that it's because i couldn't fit in <laughs> I'm gonna fit in the R, so ignore that. Ignore that. Uh, that is purposely, as I I couldn't fit in another letter. But this is International Cow Plant Day. I thought this was just so funny. Um, I, I'm not sure if anyone else has done this before. I'm pretty sure I did think up this holiday, but it's kind of just dedicated to gardening. That's why I put it in spring. So if your Sims are into gardening, you know, celebrate International Cow Plant Day by growing a cow plant or just growing things in general. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. And then we, of course, have a love day, which is so cute. I, I think she definitely loves love day she's totally gonna be binge watching romance movies <laughs> and then we have summer barbecue to kind of start off the summer you know looks pretty fun and of course we have rainbow day which is kind of the equivalent to pride month but i decided to put in just rainbow day and it's kind of just a big old celebration and i kind of have to have this it's really essential for me and i thought i'd add sporty day it's basically your sims you know watch the sports uh, play video sports game video sports games <laughs> invite guests over you know do some exercising i thought i'd add this and then we actually have sabook fest over here here, which is kind of halloween and we also have pancake fest which is kind of the thing for pancake day in england i'm i think i think it's in other countries too i don't know but uh, pancake day is basically where you just eat pancakes for your meal that day like you have pancakes for breakfast pancakes for lunch and pancakes for dinner i wanted to add it because i think it's just so quirky and basically yeah you, you do baking today you bake pancakes it's all you eat for the whole day it's pretty fun and then of course we also have harvest fest over here and coming into winter we have remembrance day i kind of thought we needed remembrance day mainly because you know it's kind of like a day to kind of remember the loved ones that have passed we have winterfest eve which is kind of you know you do some cleaning you do some decorating you kind of get ready for winterfest and then the right the next day is actually winterfest which is basically just a big old you know it's christmas <laughs> and then we have new year's eve and i actually want to add a holiday to sunday mainly because i wanted to add like easter but because i started on sunday i couldn't add a holiday so i'm planning on adding a holiday for sunday like 
like, you know, you got Easter Sunday, like egg fest. So I'm going to be actually adding one of those probably with you guys or on my own. I guess it depends, <laughs> which is going to be the equivalent to, you know, Easter on the first day of spring. So yeah, that is the calendar. I'm really proud of it. <laughs> so I thought I'd just go ahead and show you guys. And that is kind of everything for the kind of introductions. So in the next part, we will be beginning, of course, everything. But tell me what you guys think of Berea. Are you excited for this Let's Play like I am? Let me know. I am so pumped for this. I thought this was going to be so fun. I have so many ideas when it comes to the story as well, you guys. I do have drama coming, but it's not going to be as crazy drama. But I do have drama on the way. I think this Let's Play is just going to be so fun. As I said, there is going to be some sad parts too. So don't expect this to be happiness all the way through. It's got to be realistic. And I still love my Sims drama. So <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm so pumped for this. And I hope you guys are too. Tell me what you think of Bria. Like, tell, just tell me what you think of this whole Let's Play. You know, just let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear. And if you, of course, are new to my channel, if it's, this is the, of course, first video you're watching of me, hello, welcome. My name is Lorena. As I said, I do mainly Sims 4 content like Let's Plays and Creator Sims. So if any of that interests you, please go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to have you join the Plum family. And I also do like custom content videos as well. I do CC hauls quite often. And yeah, just welcome, welcome. And I hope you can stick around and join the Plum family and everything. So yeah. So if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. We would love to have you join the Plum family. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye. A quick thank you to all of the channel members. Thank you, Ace, Kristen, Plumberry, The Mint Plum Bob, Viviana Elise, Tokati, Hazelu, Florida, Michelle Monroe, F3YA, Crystal Exton, McKenna, Robin Ivy Louise, Melody, Cookie Monster, and Naomi Unni. I really do appreciate it.